All right, the last lesson of the week, which is the last lesson of our chapter five, is uh, going to look at something else. But before we get to that, let's look at our math skills. Adding fractions again, we look at six and nine. Six obviously cannot turn into a nine. So we look at the second multiple of the bigger number, which is 18. Can six turn into 18? Yes, it can. So we put an 18 here and we put an 18 there. Six times what makes 18? Or you could say 18 divided by six. That answer is three. Five times three turns into 15. Nine multiplies by what to make 18? That answer would be two, which makes that a four. 15 plus four makes 19. 18 stays on the bottom. That is your adding fractions review. Again, make sure if you're having issues adding fractions, you speak up. I'm not gonna do multiple long multiplications because again, we've done this more than enough, I believe at this point. So 43 times 22, remember we freeze on this number here. Two times three is six. 2 times 4 is 8. After you're done with that number, bring down a 0. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 4 is 8. Add those two rows. 6 and 0 make 6. 8 and 6 make 14. Carry the 1. 1 and 8 make 9. Remember again, in terms of your answers, you do not need to write down that 1 uh, because I don't need you to write that in for extra work. I'm still going to do the same thing on your um, final score work, which again is just logic white scored seven white scored two in my eyes that means that white scored nine because it's white scored both times black scored six white scored one again if you're looking at it what's it asking you to do it's pretty much saying black one but by how much so six minus one makes five so black one by five black five white ten again this is a competition so white one but by how much ten minus five is five so it should be white five and then black scored seven and black scored four which means to me that black scored 11 now you'll notice this time that I didn't break it all the way down but again I did it in my head because I knew I was going to add them up and I knew white won. I knew I was going to subtract and I knew that black won because I'm just reading it I knew I was going to subtract and I knew that white won. I knew I was going to add and I knew that black won. so I did not need to slow down and do everything like that the better you get the faster you'll be able to go and you need to try to get to that point at some point our last topic is called combine like terms. Just imagine you had the following items on an inventory list. One ketchup, three mustard, five ketchup, nine mustard. The word simplify means write in simplest form. Is there an easier way to write this list? If so, what is it? Well, obviously you shouldn't have four things on here when you have ketchup and ketchup there. So what I'll do is say one ketchup and five ketchups make six ketchup, comma, and since I have three mustards and nine mustards, three and nine make 12, so 12 mustards. And so that would be the simplest way to write it, which is to put my ketchups together, put my mustards together, and go from there. This algebra will do the same thing. The key to notice is that one ketchup and five ketchup made six, and we did not change the label. We just put everything together. So when you do that, don't turn your x's into x squareds and all that stuff. You just leave it as is. So. When you see 4x and 7x, there's 4x's and 7x's, which make 11x's. 8m minus 3m, you just simply say 8 minus 3 is 5m. So in other words, 8m's and I took away 3m's leaves me with 5m's. Five, five t and 5t, it's important for you to understand this represents 1t and 5t's, which is 6t's. Of course, it's not that easy, but you should understand that there's, you know, it does, it's not tough either. So let's look at the problems that'll be on your homework. Just take your time and you should be able to get through them. When you read this, is there anything that can be combined? In this case, I see the M's can be put together. So four and nine make 13 M, and then the three N just comes down because nothing changed about it. You still had three N's no matter what. In the second example, I recognize that these two A's can be put together. Eight A's and five A's make 13 A's. And again, two B just comes down along for the ride because you cannot combine it with anything. Eight X plus three plus six. What I notice here is that both of these are regular whole numbers, which means I can put them together, which means eight X stays eight X, but three and six turns into nine. And that is all you're really doing. So that is the key idea for your process. Just make sure that you are ready for that when it comes up and you should be okay. The other thing we're gonna do with this is combine it with distributive property. Remember that this means that three meets nine F and three meets seven, but it doesn't meet two, so just bring down your plus two as is. 
3 times 9f would be 27f. 3 times 7, 21. Again, plus 2. And so what we're doing now is we're looking and saying, is there anything that can be put together before we wrap it up? And I think it is. Both of these whole numbers can be. So 27f comes down. And then 21 plus 2 makes 23. And that would be the answer you're looking for. All right. I think it's going to say distribute, which means you'll give this answer first and then this answer second. So again, you don't need to show that step, I believe, on your homework. I don't know, though, but like I said, if something happens, just let me know, and I'll be glad to help you out. Here again, 6 is going to meet 4z, and 6 is going to meet 7. The 8z has nothing to do with anything because it's not in the parentheses. 6 times 4z makes 24z. 6 times 7 makes 42. Notice that's why I actually draw my lines, otherwise that would look like a 2. So whenever I draw my z's, I put a line in them because that would be confusing. But based off of what I know, 24z and 8z go together to make 32z. And 42 comes along for the ride. So I believe these are the two boxes you'll need. Just make sure, again, you look at the answer if it gives, if you tells you you're wrong and try to adjust. You do have a test tomorrow, but the homework has everything from this week on it. You might want to find some time to review last week before doing the test, even if it's just a glance at the problems. Remember, you can email me for small explanations to get you back on track. But learning to properly advocate for yourself, speak up, get the help you need uh, is the first step to success. So, again, just make sure you're working on that. And I will talk to you later, and good luck. Test is due Monday.